so if we we consider the the idea of the universe as the body of the lord this seems to be there uh, there both in the bhagavad gita there's a this theophany uh, the revelation in the bhagavad gita and the bhagavatam it is quite prominent in the second chapter second canto it is there but apart from that also it's there in almost every major prayer so it's quite a central idea in the bhakti in the bhagavatam itself so maybe theologically what does it mean so prabhupad say we, maybe we can discuss that from our theological perspective and then see how it relates with us the idea that god this universe is the body of god now we are not using that in a we not saying that in a, a literal or a pantheistic sense that this is god but we could say this is also god that this is not this is not profane as compared to god being sacred is that the emphasis and we can we can this is also sacred because this is also god and through this we can also attain the transcendental awareness tra- transcendental consciousness through nature is that the purpose of uh, that discussion about the universal form in the bhagavatam yeah there's there's a there's a, 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 an ontological element to this as to this discussion there's an epistemological aspect to it and there's a relational side to it right so uh, ontologically speaking uh, yes we recognize that uh, everything is is not different from the lord right it's part of the lord's energy or it's part of his body um and so uh, ontologically speaking uh, the lord is present there's not a strong a uh, division between creator and creation and and that immediately needs to change our perspective ecologically because this the, the world is now no, not merely a resource to be exploited a resource that is other than us and other than the lord right we it's it's not it's not uh, something that is uh, merely separate that it is actually incorporated in the being of the lord and in our being as well because we're in that same category of being the lord's energy a different kind of energy but no doubt still there's an aspect of non-difference there so there's an ontological dimension but then there is also an epistemological uh, uh, dimension namely that now the world serves as a way for us to understand and appreciate the lord and this is clear in bhagavad gita in chapter 11 where arjun after chapter 10 he says okay krishna i want to know you that's his concern to know krishna who are you uh, and that's what prompts the theophany i want to see you i want to know you um so there's an epistemological side and prabhupada often said when we see the beauty of the natural world then we reflect on the fact that oh if the creation is so beautiful then how beautiful must be the creator right so in other words the creation reflects something of the creator it provides us epistemic access a uh, knowledge uh, of of the lord and then there's the relational the ontological and epistemic in when we when we speak of bhakti right then the ontological and epistemic we can't stop with that those two have to lead to uh, uh relationality that it has to affect our relationship that's the point of bhakti otherwise we we remain only on the level of sat and chit uh, ontology and uh, uh, epistemology we need to move to the point of ananda or we need to move from karma and dhyana to bhakti and bhakti says okay this knowledge now iti matva bhajante ma one who knows this if you have this knowledge then it's going to affect my relationship with the lord right and that's that that is what the step that is so crucial to an eco theology is to say okay now that i know that this creation is the lord therefore my behavior towards this creation is going to be uh changed it's going to be affected it's going to be uh transformed in in how i relate to this creation because i know i'm relating to the lord just like we ended on this point last time right prabhupad saying that that uh, 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 uh reprimanding devotees because the light bulb was left on or the water tap was dripping right so that knowledge that this is krishna's energy affects a change in our behavior in our 
in our relationality uh, to the uh, to to the to the Lord, and and that's the that's the that's the turn of bhakti. Up to that point, uh, bhakti is not introduced. Bhakti means that our knowledge leads to a change in relationship. 